Uh, congrats to our young designers there. Now, I myself am a regular blood donor. I can't at the moment because I'm preparing for the two oceans, but I have to thank our very willing donor who has stepped in, James, one of our colleagues here at Expresso. Dude, thank you so much. We'll get your take on it. And I'm joined from the Western Province Blood Transfusion Services, Marlies and Kim. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Um, you can actually start the process right now. Marlies, I'm going to ask you to, first of all, just explain to us what is happening here before we get into a bit of background on how people can do that. So the floor is yours. What are we doing exactly here? Well, before the actual donation, James had his hemoglobin tested and it had to be more than 13.5 for men okay. and 12.5 for women. And then he had his blood pressure taken and he filled in the confidential donor questionnaire, which has to be filled in every time before a donation. And we asked donors to be very honest on that questionnaire. It's for their own benefit as yeah. well as the recipient's And it is benefit. completely confidential. It is yeah. completely confidential. And now it's the actual donation process. It takes 10 to 12 minutes. And this whole process takes only 20 to 30 minutes every 56 days it's really easy and, and what I love about this is you are literally going to be saving a life this blood is so necessary give us a bit of background as to the need for blood donation in South Africa well blood cannot be artificially manufactured so we rely on the help of our donors 100% Regular donations is very important. Blood does have a shelf life. And if you take into context, just in the Western Cape, we have more than 5 million people. And we have about 70,000 blood donors. So it's less than 1.5% of the wow. Western Cape population actually donates blood. So we need to push that numbers up. Um, and it's, it, it really is a simple process. How are you doing there, James? You're not freaking out yet? I'm doing eh? great, yeah. <laughs> awesome. what, what prompted you to get on board? Why, what, what was the decision there for you? It was an easy decision. I've given blood before, and this was a nudge in the right direction to get back on the regular do donation list, really. Um, it's an easy choice when you weigh it up against the need. Uh, but, you know, obviously James is, is young, he's fit, he's healthy, he's an ideal candidate. Who can donate blood? We have a basic donor criteria. You have to be between the ages of 16 to 65. You have to weigh more than 50 kilograms. You have to be medically healthy, so no colds and flus. And then you have to lead a safe lifestyle. And you just have to be committed to helping others. It's really as easy as that. Where can we do this? Now that we've been inspired to follow in James's footsteps, where are the places that we can go to connect with you guys and also to donate blood? Well, in the Western Cape, we have a lot of mobile units going out every day of the week. And then throughout the rest of South Africa, our sister organization, Sandbus, also has a lot of, unit, or a lot of mobile units going out as well as fixed sites so it will be best for the donors and potential donors to go onto the very to the two websites is wpblood.org.za and sandbus.org.za guys thank you so much for the hard work that you guys do james is already well on his way there um, well done sam we're gonna touch base with you in a moment now we'll see how long i'm timing you to see how quickly you <laughs> fill that bag uh, but thanks man awesome stuff